Hey everyone, I've got another Your Toy Box to open up. This is a monthly subscription box, but instead of everyone getting the same thing, you pick the things that you like and they send you a mixture of things matching those categories. Like if you pick Ninja Turtles, they will send you possibly something in the Ninja Turtles area, or if you pick um, what else is there? Like Ghostbusters, or Star Trek, or anything like that. They might send you stuff like that, or Legos. This is my third one, because I keep subscribing to it. This is awesome. Alright, so I'm not going to look in here. I'm just going to reach in and get the traditional piece of bubble wrap that is always in these. Okay, first thing I feel is a carded figure. I'm going to skip over that. I'm going to get a bag figure. Just ship something in a bag right here. Okay, this is... Let's see, what is this? Kind of... I'm not... Okay, I don't, I, I don't know who this character is, but... The toy style is kind of in a... And it's probably not Star Wars, but it's like a Star Wars type of figure. It's got... No articulation in the knees. Um, interesting cape though, so I, I'm thinking it's not Star Wars because of this cape, but it's, it's some kind of character that I have no idea who this is. Uh, I don't know if this comes off or not. It might. Okay, let's see who, who makes this. It is... I cannot see... 1996 LFL Kenner, China. Alright, so I totally don't know who this guy is. Uh, tell me in the comments below what this is. But it's, it's really cool. I like I like the rubbery cape and he's got a nice sculpt to him. Okay, that's number one. So I could get between six and nine more things. Okay, here's a small thing. Usually the small things is a micro machine. So far I've gotten two micro machines and this is my third one. This is a an older car, maybe I don't want to say a Packard, but it'd be an old Ford or something. I think I have kind of one kind of like this, but I don't have this color. What is this? It doesn't say. Usually I know kind of what they are, but this one I'm not sure. Because it's like a, like, like a 1930s type of body or 40s. I'm not sure. I'm not really an expert of those types of cars. But it is very nice. And quite sure I don't have it, so that will be a nice addition to my collection. It's good, very, very good condition. It's not all scratch up or anything. Alright, number three. Another baggy thing. This is a big baggy thing. Big figure. What is this? Ooh, it's a spawn! I think I picked McFarlane toys as one of my things. It's got, it's got an accessory. I don't think I have this one. Or if I do, I have it like in an alternate color. What is this? This spawn. I'm not sure which spawn figure this is because there's so many. But I don't recall having one this color. Alright, I'm not sure if he's supposed to have another part that goes on the end of here. You can see there's a little marking. But probably not. I don't, I don't know. Eh, this looks like it should be longer. Like... You'd put one part there, and then another part would come out here. But that's alright. The figure is very cool by itself. Let's take a look at that. I've always loved Spawn figures and McFarlane figures. I think he does a great job with his toy line. Nice armor and spikes all over the place. And he's always got uh, two different type of shoes. They're asymmetrical figures. Very awesome. I like that a lot. Okay, that was three toys. Okay, let's get the carded figure. Usually I always get one carded figure in these things. So let's get the other stuff out, off of it. Let's see if I can get this out. It's a Star Trek. Star Trek. Oh, it's Jordy. Got a Jordy figure. I, I really love Star Trek, but I've never really bought any of these older figures, so I I don't really have most of them. Let me take a look at the back here. I might have that one, I'm not sure. But I'd like to get that one, even if I already have one. Uh, Jordy is good. A Borg is good. I'd like to get that. I need that. I'd love to get regular data. 
uh, a Ferengi. Yeah, I need all these. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, should I open this? It's kind of yellowing. It's got a crystal. Is that a dilithium crystal? What is this? Yep, I think I got to open it. Okay, let's move this out of the way. And don't get mad at me because I'm opening these old figures. Obviously, he wouldn't send me a super rare, expensive, hard to get figure. He's just sending me figures that he can get cheaply because they're not worth that much. So I could probably get this in the package on eBay for like $10 or less. So please don't get mad because I'm opening it. Obviously it's not that rare. Or it wouldn't be in this box. Because check out the price here. See? Well that's from Walmart. But I'm sure it's, it's not worth that much, so don't get mad because I opened it. Check out the background. Oops, didn't open it right. Okay, we get... Uh, I love getting these mint condition in package figures. And see, like, it's, it's yellow, so like I don't like having yellow package figures. Because it looks weird. Might as well just open them. Okay, his visor is attached to his face. He's got pretty good posability, you know, standard Star Trek figure posability. Um, he's got a holster. And oh look at the nice little stripes on his feet. Okay, he's got a base. And the peg is in the middle, which is weird because then he's gonna stand off center. Okay, he's got a little um I forget what these are called. And I wanna say tricorder, but I don't know, it's, it's a weird bag type of thing. Here's a tricorder right here. They're all stuck. And with tape. Okay, let me read what's, what are the accessories. Um, okay. Type 2 hand phaser, tricorder with holster, bioengineering tools, dilithium crystals, OA team portable computer gear, and visor. I think the visor is on his head, isn't it? It's not really an accessory. Okay, so... Here's the phaser. Uh oh, there goes my fingernail polish. Where did he go? And put that right there. Uh oh. And put this right here. Come on. Go on his head. And let's see. I don't know why you would want to carry dilithium crystals around. And let's give him. Well, let's see if this fits in here. Yeah, it does. Check that out. You can put it like that, or not like that. Does that does not fit like that? And you can put this here, but it looks stupid because it's shooting. And there's this one right here. So that is pretty awesome. I'm slowly filling out my Star Trek collection with this your toy box. Like, oops! I didn't mean to look. Oops. Okay, let's get that figure that I just saw. This is Tila. I think I think I never had Tila. I'm, or maybe I did, but some girl that uh, was kind of my friend for like a year took her. But I definitely don't have her right now. Oh, this is so awesome. She's a little bit loose um, limbs, like wobbly. The arms aren't too bad. But this is awesome because I definitely need Tila. Uh, there was no uh, accessories or whatever, but that's fine. This is really cool. I, I'm glad I got Tila. This is uh, a really good figure to have. This is, uh, let's see. Where's all the words and stuff? I don't know. I don't know where they put the... What is this? Well, I don't know where the, like, copyright stuff is, but... Anyways, it's, it's really cool. Alright, next. Some, there's like two small things. Let me get this one. It's a little... Uh -oh. It's a little Ninja Turtle! It's a Donatello. Donatello PVC. It's got a bow that's like attached to his back. And 
The sculpt is really cool. This is a, I'm guessing this is the Nickelodeon type of style. Let's see if he's got some words on him somewhere. Uh, copyright, copyright, uh, there's something right there. Can't read it, can't read it. Viacom. Very nice. Cute. I'd like to get the other three turtles like that. Okay, let's put him right there. And let's get the other small thing. I think that's... Oh, there's two more small things. Alright, there's two more. This is... There's this. What is this? Oh, it's a little see, weird C-3PO. Galactic Heroes? I don't have any Galactic Heroes things. I don't know what this is, but... It's a little C-3PO. It's chrome. Gold chrome. And his eyes are painted... And his little belt area is painted. I mean, you know, his, his wires and stuff. And he's got the one silver foot. That is very cool. Okay, what is this? 2001. Very nice. I like that a lot. Alright, so last thing. Where did it go? Is this tiny, tiny little thing? It's a little tiny skitty Pokemon. This is very cute. I don't think I have one this size. I might have one about twice as big, but I definitely don't have this tiny, tiny one. I like the paint. It's almost like pearl. Pearlescent, pearlized paint on the body. The, the pink part, and then the tail almost looks like a different color. Like a purple. It's very cute. Alright, that's everything that was in the box. I don't remember how many things there was. Let's see. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight things this time. All right, so if you want to get this, just uh, Google your toy box and you can pick on the list of things that you like and they'll send you a bunch of surprise stuff like this. It's great. All right, thanks for watching and check out my other videos and subscribe and like and comment and all that. See you later. Bye.